Okay, welcome back. So you've gotten into some of the more uh, subtle or spiritual components of refining your routine. So that means meditation, which you've just had an opportunity to practice, and also affirmations are a big part of bringing in a more subtle spiritual component to this idea of cultivating balance and specifically work-life balance. So the next step in building on the more subtle practices is to connect to the breath. So together, we are going to learn a breathing technique called Nadi Shodhana Pranayama. That means alternate nostril breath. This practice is so, so amazing for purification, for cleansing the bodily channels. It's also incredible for balancing the masculine and feminine energies within us or the lunar and solar energies within us. Um, it's the top breathing practice for balance in the body. The way that the breath moves from side to side helps balance our bodies and specifically supports our nervous systems to find more calm and relaxation and centering. Um, and so, so often when we think of wellness, we think of supplements, we think of diet, we think of lifestyle, um, but there are so many ways to make cultivating balance a more holistic experience. And that is something that I really want to offer to you, which is why we're going to bring in some breathing techniques. So we'll practice alternate nostril breath now. Later, you'll have another opportunity to learn a slightly more advanced, a different, more advanced breathing technique that'll come in section two. Um, but the breathing, breathing is the bridge between mind and body, between body and soul. Um, it's the thing that anchors us to be present from one moment to the next. You might notice that when you're really stressed, you're not breathing deeply, you're holding your breath, you're distracted, you're thinking about other things. So if we can get into the habit of tuning into our breath, coming back to our bodies by breathing deeply and intentionally, um, it will help us get into the habit of being more present and more mindful in our day-to-day -day life. Now being more mindful is another one of the keys to bringing in work-life balance, to refining your routine and holding yourself to that. Um, the breath is so, so important. And it's also just nice to, to break things up, to try a variety of different tools and techniques and practices to figure out which things will fit into your refined routine to help you feel your very best. So you might learn this practice and say, oh, I'm not sure it's for me. Maybe you come back to it in a couple months and try again. You might decide that this is one of the core practices that you will commit to every day. The reason why I'm offering a variety of practices and activities and worksheets and tools is because I want you to find the ones that work very best for you. So let's try it together. Nadi Shodhana Pranayama alternate nostril breath. What you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand. I'm not mirroring, so bear with me. You're going to take your right hand and you're going to use your pinky and your ring finger and your thumb to alternate covering your nostrils as we breathe, okay? So start by covering the right nostril. Take a little exhale out and breathe in through the left. Now switch the hands, cover the left, open the right, and breathe out through the right. Inhale right. Switch. Exhale left. Inhale left. Switch, exhale right, inhale right, switch, exhale left, inhale left, 
switch. Exhale, right. Okay, so now you're getting the hang of it. We're breathing only through the nose. By breathing through the nostrils, it actually encourages us to slow down and stretch out our breath, which is a really important part of breathing deeply and slowly becoming more mindful and more present, slowing down. When we breathe through the nostrils, it's an invitation to slow down our breath. When we slow down our breath, it helps slow down our nervous system. Okay, so let's talk about a couple other ways to feel a little more comfortable when you're doing this pranayama. So you can just sit upright. Sometimes I put my left hand just resting on my knee. Sometimes I take a mudra face down or face up on the knee. Um, but if your arm gets tired, if you start to do this for a couple minutes and the right arm gets tired, you can always rest it on your knee, okay? And practice like this. You can rest it in your elbow and practice like this. So I'm holding my hand. Um, and another thing that you can do is take your middle finger and your pointer finger and rest them on your forehead and alternate like this. That's my favorite. Um, I like the pressure on my third eye. Um, right now I'm resting my hand and my elbow. So let's try one more round. Um, get Find a way to feel whether you want to feel more comfortable, whether you want to support your elbow, rest it on your knee over here, um, whether you want to practice using the two fingers on the forehead. And we'll try again. And I just want to note one other really great thing about this pranayama is that it's, it's generally safe for everyone. It's not too heating or too cooling or too activating. Um, so that is something that's really special about Nadi Shodhana. It's nice, safe, balancing practice that you can do anytime. Um, and it's also um, really, really effective for calming the body. So let's try it again all together. First, just rest both hands on your knees. We'll take some deep breaths through both nostrils. Two more. Just allow yourself to drop into your body, becoming more and more present. You can keep the left hand on the left knee, pick up the right, maybe resting the fingers on the third eye. We're gonna bring the right thumb to cover the right nostril. Leave the left nostril open, take an inhale through the left. Switch the fingers, open the right, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Switch, exhale left. Inhale left. Switch, exhale right. Inhale right. Switch, exhale left. Continue for just a few more rounds on your own. Trying to stay with that flow. We inhale and then we switch, we exhale. Inhale on that same side. And then we switch. Notice how as you breathe, you're feeling more calm and centered. Notice if you can stretch out the inhale or the exhale. Relax your shoulders, sit tall. And we'll go ahead and finish up. Next time you exhale on the right, release your hand. <sighs> Beautiful. Nice job.
So this is a practice that I encourage you to try for just a couple minutes, like three to four minutes, two to three minutes every day, and just see how it feels. Maybe just try it for this week and see how it feels. Maybe you keep it at just a few minutes a day. Maybe it turns into five to 10 minutes a day. Maybe it's something that you do before your meditation to get centered. Maybe it's something that you do when you get home from work to transition from work to being at home and to coming back into yourself. Again, this pranayama is just one tool that I'm offering to help you cultivate balance in a holistic way. So I want you to try all of these things and figure out what works best. Okay, so in order to see if this practice works for you, go ahead and do it just every day for just a couple minutes and notice how you feel and notice how an intentional breathing practice actually helps you breathe more deeply and intentionally just throughout the day. Notice how you, you can come back to the breath when you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling overwhelmed because you have cultivated this practice. Okay, so I'm excited for you to try it. I'm excited for you to continue setting goals, to hold yourself accountable, and to weave in new practices until you figure out exactly which practices work best for you. That is the key to building a refined routine, which is the key to preventing stress and preventing burnout and really feeling your best so that you can live your passion and show up for yourself, for others, for the community, for the planet. That's what it's all about. <sighs> all right. So keep practicing the breath. Keep practicing all of it. See you soon.